Today, for a change, we will focus on houses. But to actually introduce some variety, we will deal with steel houses. The topic is quite extensive and requires addressing certain theoretical issues, so we will divide it somewhat. Today's part will concern pressure steel houses. I will talk about two groups of metal houses. The characteristic, where they are used, how they are constructed and how they are manufactured. Then we will discuss steel houses assemblies and everything related to them. Let's get started. Metal houses are divided into pressure metal houses and strip pump houses. Tubes offered and supplies pressure metal houses in the form of complete houses assemblies. Where are metal houses used? Everywhere where working conditions are too harsh for rubber houses or plastic houses. They are used for liquids and gases in all industry. For water and air, steam, oil, fuels, chemical, natural gases, LNG or compressed technical gases. The construction of typical pressure steel houses assemblies. A corrugated house tube with sheet thickness from 0.2 to 0.5 mm made of 316 stainless steel. The longitudinal weld of the hose tube made before corrugating. To ensure resistance to internal pressure, the hose has a braid made of tiny and very durable stainless steel wires, mounting ferrules, fittings that are most often connected to the hose by welding. The main advantages of pressure houses. Resistance to material aging and non-flammability. Wide range of temperature resistance. Flexibility at low temperature high working pressure, resistance to vacuum, impermeability to penetrating gases and liquids, high chemical resistance, durable attachment of fittings. But steel hoses also have their disadvantages. Flow losses resulting from the corrugated hose construction. In dynamic installation, the life of the hose is limited. High sensitivity to incorrect geometric configuration of the hose, especially causing twisting. There are three basic standards regarding general purpose pressure metal hoses. The first of them defines the requirements for design, production, testing and complete hoses assemblies. The second standard relates to fittings and couplings. The third standard concerns the requirements of the pressure directive. Ok, material from which our hoses assembly can be made. Stainless steel most widely used, good corrosion and temperature resistance. Copper alloy, used in special cases, among others due to good vibration damping. Nickel alloy, used in special cases due to very high corrosion resistance, especially for chlorine. How does it happen that a simple thin walled tube become a corrugated hose and what do this corrugation actually contribute to? Let's start with the frequency and high of the corrugation. The more corrugation and the higher they are, the greater the fatigue resistance, flexibility and pliability at the expense of pressure resistance and hose weight. The thicker the material of the tube and consequently the corrugation, the greater the pressure resistance and weight with a decrease in fatigue resistance, flexibility and pliability. There are three methods of manufacturing these hoses. Mechanical forming, hydroforming and elastoforming. The first is the most basic method. Forming occurs with rotating heads and the formation occurs from the outside to the inside. The biggest advantages of this method is high production speed. Disadvantages, loss of oil used in production, variation in the shape and size of corrugation, asymmetry of corrugation, the inability to produce an omega shape. Hoses made by this method include such hoses as Metallica or Metalflex, flexible stainless steel hoses designed for transmitting liquids and gases under pressure, water, steam, air, hot oil, chemical. The safety factor of these hoses is 4 to 1. They can work under high vacuum condition. We especially recommended them for static application in typical working condition. The next method, hydroforming. Reliable production methods, small corrugation tolerance, higher corrugation and greater flexibility with fewer of them, control of the longitudinal seam during forming, lower metal stress, higher resistance to stress corrosion, no oil in the production process. 
disadvantages slower production method and the use of a single tool for only one production profile popular houses made by this method include the houses partner the highest quality flexible and pliable stainless steel hose in version with a single or double dense braid of high strength or the parrap hose which can be distinguished by a bending radius about 25% smaller than the partner hose. Parallel corrugation with a fold shape omega, recommended for a responsible industrial application, dynamic application, provides very high flexibility, reliability and long service life even in difficult working condition. Use among other in the chemical and petrochemical industry, nuclear energy, shipbuilding, cryogenic technology, air conditioning, food industry. The last method, elastoforming, is very similar to hydroforming except that the water is replaced here with an elastomer. And with this positive note, we conclude this part and invite you to follow our channel because the second part of the video on metal houses will appear soon.